Timothy Kirkhope, Conservative MEP for Yorkshire and the Humber, the sale of this uh, power station to EPH, is that something you welcome, given in the past there's been concern about uh, this power station continuing to op operate? Yes, well, I mean, this is a major employer. It employs hundreds of uh, constituents of mine in Yorkshire. It has a pretty good record, actually. It produces something uh, of about 4%, I think, of the whole country's energy needs, electricity needs. And therefore, obviously, in my, from my point of view, it's very important that it continues in operation. What do you make of the company that's bought it? It's a Czech company, yeah. we understand. Talking to your, your colleagues uh, in, in, in the group out here in Brussels, what are you hearing about this company um, from, from other parts of Europe where they might be more fam familiar with uh, EPH? Well, they're a, big, they're a big company. They operate not only in the Czech Republic, but they operate in Slovakia, they operate in Germany. Um, they have got quite a good track record. Um, and uh, it would seem to me that that is probably you know, what is needed here. Uh, we, want, we want a company that has plans to uh, make sure that this is a profitable operation, but at the same time an operation that continues to employ large numbers of people and produces significant amounts of energy. I mean, energy is one of the biggest problem areas for us all, and particularly in the UK, where we do need to have maximum capacity uh, at the moment. What uh, then is, is the signal that you're getting about this company and its prospects for Yorkshire? Um, are you feeling that this isn't going to be a company that's fly by now, fly by night that might kind of strip the assets that it's well, that, going to think of for the long term? Yes, there's no advantage whatsoever um, in terms of their coming in one minute and moving out the next, as it were. Um, they have actually indicated in their prospectus for this plant that they will invest in it um, quite heavily. Uh, that's good news. If they're going to invest in it, um, then obviously that guarantees jobs. But also, of course, it may be they're bringing some new ideas with them in terms of uh, power generation. So all of that, uh, so far, the signals we've received are very positive indeed. What about in terms of EU competition? Because it does, this deal does need to meet EU uh, regulators' approval. Can you be confident that that's going to be successful? Well, I'm pretty confident about that, yes. And I think in the present sort of situation around Europe where we do need to make best use and most use of all our, um, all our power stations and our means of producing energy, producing electricity, I would have thought that uh, this would be something that the Commission would not want to obstruct. This plant has previously been at risk, not least because it failed to get conversion to biomass. It wanted to get subsidy to do that from the government. It didn't get uh, government's, uh, ultimately didn't get government approval for that. Is this, could this be a second chance for Egbert, given that it must get its pollution under control if it's to meet tighter sulfur dioxide um, targets coming in from the EU? Yes, well, I certainly hope so. Um, the company taking it over and offering to invest quite substantially here, I presume would not be doing that unless they had some indications that they were going to be able to make it work for the long term. And of course, you know, the whole issue of biomass, uh, the, the actual nature of the sources of fueling for power stations, is one of great interest at the moment. Uh, and the British government certainly has been of help to other power stations. I know that Drax, for instance, which is not that far from Egbra, um, has had some benefits out of this, but I'm sure this company will have done their homework and uh, done their calculations. Um, they don't want to just come in for five minutes, which of course again is very good news for all the people that are employed in, in, in the region uh, at EGBRA and, and around it and in supporting it.